Today, we're gonna build a house, but every room is gonna be a different Disney movie. Oh, did you forget to mention the game? Whoops. That's the most important part <laughs> because today's video is brought to you by Disney Dreamlight Valley. Thank you so much. For real, we have been meeting to decorate our house for forever and this gives us a really good excuse. I didn't even need an excuse. <laughs> Don't look at this right now. We're gonna, we're gonna fix this. This will be at the end. This is a renovation project. But this is the first room we're gonna be doing. I'm thinking kitchen dining combo. Would it be too easy to ask the wheel just for ratatouille? You could try. Please give us a ratatouille. <laughs> Yeah, it would in fact be too easy. We can work with Frozen. I think we can work with Frozen. <laughs> I know we could just go full ice castle in here, but I want to go more like Arendelle aesthetic. It's like castle tavern. I think it works. We're going to have to go corner kitchen over there because we've got a lot of doors to work around. We can move some of them down too, but oh, yeah, I right. think this is nice. This is so cute. Those cabinets are perfect. Agreed, except we have a small problem. It's too cute. <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe. We don't have a cute enough fridge. Nothing matches. Oh gosh, they all look so modern. Maybe we don't even need a fridge in this kitchen. Like we have Elsa, she'll keep everything cold. She doesn't have anything better to do. Isn't there a fridge in the new furniture customization thingy? Oh yeah, it's part of the new update. A touch of magic stuff that you used to be able to only use on clothing is now available on certain items as well, including this fridge. Wait, it comes with like texture stuff? Isn't this awesome? Honestly, this is so cool. Cool. What's the second swatch though? No way. You can yeah. color the handle separately. This is gonna change things for me. I'm gonna go wood grain and then I wanna match like the darker color back here. Then for handles, maybe we try to go with this similar gold shade. Ooh, shiny. Ooh, blinding. <laughs> <laughs> pew, pew. Okay, welcome back. You probably didn't notice that we were gone, but Connie has been working. So I saw this cute snowflake design that was on the side of the cabinets and I wanted to do something like that on the fridge. So I added these motifs, threw a couple of these like gradients on so it looks more weathered. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> Said so simply, like it didn't just take you the better part of an hour to do. <laughs> Who's timing when you're having fun? Editing us, <laughs> editing us is timing. That is fitting in so nice nicely. This is awakening something in me. <laughs> should I be expecting a full furniture line from you soon? You're joking, but you should be scared. You could probably add an island here to fill out the space. Oh, and I like doing the table, actually. It looks very rustic. We have to have the cabinets a bit higher than I would like so that the pots don't clip into the counters like that. But come on. That is very worth it. I gave them stools at the island. They can get up to those cabinets <laughs> easy. Get taller. Were there any places for us to put clutter on top of the stove? No. Did that stop us? It will never stop us. <laughs> we just grabbed this little shelf. It's from Ratatouille and it just pops right on top. Did the same thing with the bugs over here on top of the fridge. Can't stop, won't stop. Still so empty. <laughs> you gotta find a dining table to fill up some uh -huh. of this space. Maybe like an L-shaped <laughs> dining table. This one is literally <laughs> called long dining table. We need the longer dining table. <laughs> Chairs will help. Maybe some ice thrones. Oh, maybe a bit too formal. <laughs> you want a more casual dining experience? So glad we get to use the frozen windows. They're just so pretty. And look at the little snowy trees. Oh, look, a reindeer like Sven. Uh, that is definitely a moose. Pretty sure it's reindeer. <laughs> for today, it's reindeer. There's kind of a perfect place for a storage chest up here, which is really nice for playability. Glad we got a chest and a stove in this room mm -hmm. because if you're coming into your house, you're either cooking or you need a place to throw all your pocket junk. So you can go out and get more pocket junk. Exactly. <laughs> That's our frozen kitchen and dining done. It's definitely frozen but it is also just how we would have decorated in the first place. Like whimsical cottage. Will we ever change? Now. And why would you when it looks this good? And let's see what's behind door number one. The bedroom. Tangled. We have cute stuff for this. <laughs> Almost maybe too much cute stuff. We don't even have to debate the wallpaper on this one. It's obvious. Oh, he's speechless. It's so pretty. Our painted floors too much with this? You no, know, Rapunzel's had like 18 years in this room. Probably everything's gonna be painted, like super bright and colorful. I actually think we have a few beds under the tangled filter, but only one of them's got a canopy. <laughs> the other thing I know we have to use is the hanging chair. It's so cute, we should use two. Why not three? <laughs> Why not a whole room? <laughs> you can only rotate objects by 90 degrees in this game, which you can do by clicking the right mouse button. But this is why corners are great because you can kind of cheat them so they look like they're at more of an angle. I can't wait for the eventual update when we'll be able to catty corner everything. I mean, the game is adding new stuff all the time. I think this will definitely be an update they do eventually. She needs a painting corner. <laughs> She's definitely had to move on to canvases. This room is covered. We saw the ceiling left. Give her time. <laughs> Let her cook. We can add in some freshly done paintings too. It's like a lot on 
on the wall. It's hard to look at. What if we move them to the floor? That way it looks like she just finished painting them. She's gonna move them somewhere else eventually. Yes, 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 yes. I like that. It's so cute. I think layering stuff just makes it feel more lived in. I say we keep these vibes going. We add some more layers. You like layers? We'll put more layers. <laughs> Since that's technically a wall piece, we can use this ceiling one in front of it and the game won't even get mad at us. Oh, that is good. Look at those are like all her little paints and crafting supplies. Just gonna add a big old wardrobe over here so our girl can store her clothes or an unconscious Flynn. Full purpose. This cute little seating area fit here. I desperately want to, but I also want to add in this tree fireplace and I'm scared we're not going to have the walk around room. Oh no, do not make me choose between two cute things. I can't do that. Maybe it'll be fine. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> we do have this fireplace instead, even though it does have a little less whimsy. I do like that it has this cooking pot though, because she sings about cooking and when will my life begin? Oh, that's great. We should do that for a ton of the decor in here, actually. She talks about books, candle making, and playing guitar. We don't have a chess set, but we do have checkers. Oh, I could just see her and Pascal playing here. He might have to sit on the barrel though. He might not be able to sit in the chair to move. <laughs> He's just hanging on the rope. And a move that goes against everything we stand for in decorating. We have not added a single plant in here. <gasps> Audible gas! <laughs> this cannot stand! We can find one. Nobody panic. Is the golden flower too much? I think it's genius! <laughs> I didn't even know we had that. I didn't either. And the last but certainly not least thing we have to add are the lanterns! Oh, I can see myself living here. I can see you living here too. We basically added everything in here i guess except a frying pan oh oh well that's on the kitchen let's add a bathroom down here frozen and tinkled maybe we'll just do an all princess house <laughs> <laughs> So close. We don't have any dedicated Monsters Inc. walls or flooring. Looking at you, Scrooge. That duck is holding out on us. Mike and Sully are a couple of bachelors, so I think we just go really industrial in here. And maybe just a bit run down. At least we have the perfect shower tub combo. Look at the doors. <sighs> I love Monsters Inc. I love Monsters Inc. so much. The problem is every room. I'm like, we should take a break and go watch that movie. <laughs> this video actually takes us 12 hours, but seven of those are spent strictly watching the films. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're cutting out of the edit for all. I I love the aesthetic concept of fuzzy accessories on toilets. Like, look at your little cute outfit. How fun. Why do I feel like there's a butt coming? But <laughs> you're thinking about how gross they're gonna be. They have to be. That being said, I am going to add a rug. I mean, might as well double down. I like the idea that Sully stuck all these like little motivational post-it notes on here to like pep talk himself before work, but he didn't realize they're like all out of Mike's eye line. This one probably covers him up perfectly. Before you guys start, we have not gotten any curtains yet. Blame the duck. We would have added them in here. Probably. <laughs> like. 50-50 chance. Yeah, easy. <laughs> Let's add a little laundry. I think we only have washers. Oh, who knows the difference? <laughs> Monster clothes are strictly air dry. Everything shrinks. This plant is just the best. And it's got teeth. Okay, I didn't consider that a bonus, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Should we turn it mouths out? The flower's the part they don't want to look at. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the not interesting part. Leaning into the monsters, you bachelor pad thing. I think we throw in some cans and the dart board. <laughs> you can shoot that perfectly from the toilet. We can pop this little plush up on the dryer like he's just been clean. Now I just see them shooting the darts over his head. <laughs> I think we've got the space to fit a locker over here. Oh, nice. We need storage for two monsters and a baby. <laughs> it actually has storage in it. Like it has open slots. Oh, real storage. Yeah. We need as much of that as we can get. You do not want to see our storage room. Don't bring up the storage room. Oh, right. The storage room that we definitely do not have. No, everything is perfectly above board. I'm really pleasantly surprised with how this one turned out. Yeah. Now let's go watch the movie. No, no. We have many more rooms. <laughs> Two quick movies and then one more room. All right. One movie. <laughs> let's spin for the next bedroom. Lilo and Stitch. Oh, Stitch might be my favorite villager. Oh, yeah. I mean, for sure. Or one. Molly. Ooh. Don't make us juice. We can use these really pretty windows. You know, I think that some people probably don't like that the window placement inside doesn't affect the exterior, but I kind of love it. You would like it because it means we can add as many windows as you want. We never get to add as many windows as I want. <laughs> I like this wallpaper. It might be a little much around the whole room. Okay, well, maybe we just do a feature wall behind the bed. Right, the bed bed. Oh, right. The choices aren't really doing it for me. We always have the rock. Do we? Sometimes you just gotta do it yourself. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> what 
to me. If I could use this on every item, I would. It is just so fun. I think I want to make like a woven bed frame. Cute. And I want the colors to be red and white, like Lilo's dress. But oh, it doesn't like go over the blanket? No, if you do it really carefully, you can color these pieces separately. That is so smart of them. Oh, no, I love it. I want to use this white flower, but I also want it to be a pattern. So I'm going to click the cube here and I'm going to click these dots up here. That makes it a pattern across the entire bed. What? And there you go. Con, you crushed it. Thank you. <laughs> now that we've got Lilo's bed covered, where's that little blue boy gonna sleep? Oh, I can make another bed. <laughs> you put that mouse down. You are obsessed. Let's just give him a little hammock. It's blue is perfect. <laughs> Con loves a hammock. If given the choice, I would be a hammock girl. <laughs> he deserves a little radio too. Yeah, he can blur Elvis whenever he wants. <laughs> I am just going to place this book down and we are not going to talk about it because if we do, I will cry. He just wants a family. No. Do not start. <laughs> I love that little wagon. I think it's like they just went on a beach trip. So we're going to add like a shell and then her camera so she can take photos of all the tourists. You know, that wall is actually pretty blank up there. We could like put up some pictures like she had printed some of hers out. Yep. 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 <laughs> went to put the cute Lion King rug down and... It covers the whole room. Fine, if I have to make another one, I must. No one's asking you to. Oh, it should be such a pain. <laughs> Thank you for sacrificing. Woe is me and the gift of my art. <laughs> so I did the pattern tool again twice, but I only want the top and the bottom to show. I'm taking this rectangle shape and I'm just gonna pattern it. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the cut tool and this erases all the motifs that are underneath it. I'm gonna do that a lot. Obsessed with the borders that you added, but they look a little like thick, like painted on. I wish you could see some of the texture through it. I, I actually can do that. <laughs> no, you can't. Yes, I can. <laughs> Watch me. I'm gonna grab one of these gradient shapes at the bottom. I'm gonna change the color to match the rug. Then I'm going to place that to where you can see a little bit of the texture on there. Then go to the cut tool and that makes it to where it just appears on the motif only. I feel like you are like a witch in here. I'm having the time of my life. <laughs> well. I was ready to say that you had wasted your time, but instead you made the most adorable jute rug I've ever seen. I love how it breaks up the space, right? Yes, it looks perfect. I feel like in a future update, they'll have it so that you can like have a gallery and share your designs with other people online so they can download it into their game. That would be so fun. I can't wait. That's going to be bad for me. <laughs> All I'm going to do is make things. This is a pretty cute kid's room. Is that dresser turned backwards? Just one moment. Now this is a pretty cute kid's room. With every dresser turned exactly the right way. <laughs> As they always have been. <laughs> We're moving up to the second floor. This could be a living room space since we didn't fit it downstairs. We need something big. And it's, oh no, Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> Give them context for that. We do not hate Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> we just wanted the last room to be a study and we really had our hearts set on Beauty and the Beast. I'm not willing to give that up. Me either. Yay! Okay, let's re roll. Do it. Oh, I mean, yeah. Let's oh. add this. Let's add the desk in here. We're just gonna add the study in here, and that room will be something awesome. Do we have something pretty for the wallpaper? <gasps> the prettiest. The vibe in here is just books. We have a lot of cute bookshelves. I'm leaning towards this one because it goes floor to ceiling. Oh yeah, and we have two of them, so that should be good. I don't think you understand. The vibe in here is books. I'll go to the duck. We're back from Scrooge's shop and we now have five bookshelves. That has to be more than enough. Let's move this door into the corner so that this whole wall can be bookshelves. I like it, but I would love it instead if we put a fireplace in the middle. <gasps> Tuna gasp, my books. <laughs> oh, but it's so cozy. This can be the lounging reading area with like couches and chairs. And more books. Uh, books, books, yes, <laughs> I know books. And this can be the study section. You think we need more books? I didn't say that. I'm going to the duck. Better? There could be more. Okay. <laughs> How are we feeling about using the giant windows in here? Oh, really good. Look at the light. Oh, just flooding in. It's a dream. So I just put a clock in this corner. What if I also put a candlestick and then it's Cogsworth and, and Lumiere? Lumiere? Exactly. I like all the roses we've actually managed to fit in here too. Like this one on the harp, mm -hmm. the lamp. There's even one on the pillow. If they would give us one in a vase, we would have put it in here. Oh, no question. More plants the merrier. <laughs> give us more plants. <laughs> Let's hang up the dusty chandelier since the castle is like a bit neglected. Oh, 
oh, we can add this damaged picture on the wall here too. Like it's the beast's portrait. Oh, that's perfect. The door that leads to nothing. Yeah, this this door that is definitely not here. Nobody paid attention to that door. I knew I was gonna like this room. Nah, I was right. <laughs> Bella's our girl, so I'm not surprised at all. I really can't wait till they put her in the valley. <gasps> Me either. So now we gotta deal with this room. <laughs> right. We can do another bathroom. Bedrooms are more fun. Twist my arm. Let's do another bedroom. <laughs> oh, Encanto. <gasps> I know the bed we can use. That was really fast and very excited. You're going to be thrilled. Mirabelle's bed is literally my favorite one that we have. Look at all those textures. I love the art style in this game. I do too, especially when you're in like play mode. Mm -hmm. It just all looks so detailed and cute. These floors. Mwah. These walls. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> I think once we added some windows, it'll look a little bit better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, you're right, you're right. Some shutter windows would match Casita more, but the big arch windows got good personality. I guess you don't be able to see it from the inside anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's fair. Shutters are normally an outdoor adventure. If you can't find a side table that works out next to your bed, the cabinets actually look really cute and they function the exact same. You can also use upper cabinets on the floor. I don't think they have spots for placements, but you could do some really cool things with that. Oh, like a whole wall of cabinets Yeah, thing. you can do a whole built-ins thing. Mirabelle is our DIY girly, so she gets her own sewing station. <laughs> I actually heard her and Minnie talking about that in the valley the other day. Oh, you heard some hot goss out there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the tea is hot out in the valley. <laughs> they have just like such pretty lights in this game. I know. They're also flickery and cute. Everything I'm putting on this wall just feels like it's like a less cute version <laughs> of the thing right next to it. Yeah, it's feeling very tall thing here, tall thing here tall thing here. Need something lower, but these do not look right at all. I can't believe I'm the one suggesting this, but is there one that we can customize? Is there one we can customize? Oh my gosh, there oh, is! Yay. Were you hiding this from me? I'm the one that suggested it. This Encanto chair that we already have is my complete inspiration. So I want it to be yellow, but I want these drawer fronts to pop out too. So I'm going to make it all wicker. Trust the process. Trust the process. <laughs> one second. <laughs> I'm going to change the handles to wood. Make this yellow. Now I'm just covering up these legs. And that's kind of it. I never doubted you for a second. I was thinking about adding a little rat motif on the side for <gasps> Bruno. And what if we put a plant like over here so uh -huh. that it's like we don't talk about Bruno? That's so funny. <laughs> I love incorporating in the other family members like that. Me too. The default door isn't bad in here, but if you want to change it out, just grab up your door and then you can either hit X or your scroll wheel and then you get options. I love how this came together. Me too. I mean, it is the room with the most plants, so it has to be the best. <laughs> <laughs> that is the rule. That just leaves the outside. Oh, why did we leave the most giant area for last? <laughs> That's a huge mistake. All right, let's spin this baby. Hopefully simple cottage core look thing and then we're done. Oh, and Ratatouille. Really wheel? Where was this for the kitchen? If the wheel wants a little French inspired town, that's what the wheel is going to get. I don't know if we should trust the wheel. At least we've got some buildings we can work with. We've obviously got the restaurant and Remy's house. We've also got Scrooge's place, which would look pretty good here. I'm really happy to see you getting into the spirit. I'm resigned. Any layout I'm doing is making our house just look Really weird and small. You can change the color. Can't hurt. It's the same thing as swapping outdoors. You just grab up your house and shake it. <laughs> I've been playing Breath of the Wild. And then you could use the replace hotkeys, which is either your middle mouse button or X. And then you have a little bit of choice. That color is better, but it didn't make it bigger. I'm just gonna have to disguise it. You mean hide it? <laughs> I, but, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna hide it. I'm gonna turn you and put you over there. I have put it smack dab in the middle. Hiding in plain sight, smart. I'm gonna grab this fencing and make the front entrance grander. It will also give me the opportunity for a place to add the greatest camouflage. Trees! <laughs> That's actually brilliant because if we can't add height to the house, we can do it with the landscaping. If you want your trees to match, take the exact same type of tree and just place a bunch of them because it'll give you a couple of different variations of heights and you can mix and match them to create what you want. Now to really mesh it all together. We're gonna go grab a path to attach all the buildings. Ooh, we've got some new ones that have borders. <gasps> yes, 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 yes. Oh, we could definitely use that. I'm gonna run this all around town except for this like little middle part. What's gonna go there? Something special. Like what? I haven't gotten there. <laughs> really special. <laughs> so special. <laughs> Let me put in the last puzzle piece. You want to do the last one? Yeah. You can. Wow. wow. Look what I did. <laughs> All right.
right. I can find something for in here. A fountain is such a good idea, Care. Well, get ready for me to add some benches and flowers. Well, that was better than I'd hoped. Good job. <laughs> Finally getting my due credit for my whole project that I did entirely by myself. <laughs> I don't think that's how it went exactly. <laughs> we should add some tables out here. Like it's outdoor dining for the restaurant. Oh, very on theme. I like it. <laughs> Let's run with the outdoor eating like market vibes concept and grab a bunch of booths. <gasps> Let's go steal Kristoff. It's not stealing. It's just moving. Mm. Not as fun. I'm gonna go craft up another booth to go over here. Maybe one that has like balloons or something. Ooh, yeah. I really like that about outside. There's a ton of craftable options that you can use. Yeah, like I'm gonna make this stall here, but then I also made some of these gates as well. This area is... Yeah, it is. We could lean into more of the food stuff for Remy and we could do like maybe like an outdoor picnic area or something. Well, that delights the imagination. I'm using this path, which is like a leaf strewn path with border. I love how the border just makes it look like little planner boxes. Got any more booths up your sleeve? We can go Coco. Can and should. Oh, I love what you did with the dirt pathing underneath the blanket. It gives it a little dimension, right? Yeah. Every angle of this is looking so good until... Oof, that's not great. Got a bit of a hole over there. Got one more big booth. We'll call out of booths. Oh. Well, time to end it. <laughs> <laughs> the valley's done. Maybe we just keep it angled from the front. I can find something that'll work okay. Or I can find something great with string lines. <laughs> That's honestly like your sixth sense. <laughs> My superpower is string lines. <laughs> what you gonna put under there? I don't know. More benches probably. If you want to sit in our valley, you have options. I think that's this challenge done. This isn't at all what I was expecting we would do out here, but I love it. Me too. I'm really happy with how it came out. I'm really thrilled with the whole build, actually, even though we added three beds and just one bath into that house. <laughs> we honestly could add like way more because you can have like 20 floors. Are you joking? Yeah. With, with like four rooms on each floor. No. <laughs> well, if you guys like this, maybe we'll stream some of them, especially because the new furniture customization update is out right now. Khan has like 50 more dressers she wants to make. So uh, that'll be fun for everyone. You're underselling. I've got at least a hundred. <laughs> if you do make anything cool, you should post on your socials. Because if you add the hashtag Dreamlight Creations to your post, Gameloft is resharing all of their favorite ones. And if you haven't played Disney Dreamlight Valley yet, you can go ahead and use the link in our description to grab the Founders Pack Edition. We obviously really like this game and we you bet you would too. Yeah, only a little bit. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. Fine. We'll show you our storage room. It's a bonus for credit crew. <laughs> it's a bit of a fixer upper. But look at that raccoon. Perfect. No notes. <laughs>